I'm Jason O'Brien, Director of Software Engineering at Drobo. I'm going to take you through the process of setting up My Drobo and Drobo Access for your network attached Drobo. Let me walk you through the process. Installation is a simple process. First, we're going to go and install the My Drobo and the Drobo Access Drobo apps, which we do from the Drobo apps menu in Drobo dashboard. We'll find the two apps at the top here, My Drobo. We'll go and install that. Installing will take a couple of minutes. My Drobo and Drobo Access work together. Drobo Access is what lets you access files on your Drobo. My Drobo is what lets you use Drobo Access remotely. And next I'll install Drobo Access. To use My Drobo and Drobo Access, you need to be running the latest version of the firmware for your Drobo NAS product. You can check the version by going to the status page. You need to have version 3, 5, 10 or later. You need to be a registered Drobo user. And if you're not, you can go to help and support and register My Drobo. And you need to be running the latest version of Dashboard. The current version of Dashboard is version 2.8.1. After that, we'll go back to the Drobo apps menu and we'll go and configure My Drobo. When we get to the My Drobo page, uh, we need to create an account. This is just a one-click process. Take a moment to do that. And now we see a list of the various apps that My Drobo can export. The one we're going to set up today is Drobo Access. So we click on Drobo Access here on the left-hand side. And now we need to register the app. What we're doing here is we're going to choose the name we want Drobo Access to be registered as a public web address. I click here on register app. And now we get to choose our name at mydrobo.com. Uh, test Drobo. And now make sure that address is available. If it's not, it will tell you. And we can register it. That's it. The registration process will take a few minutes. It needs to go and tell various servers on the web that this address is being used. And then we can go and see our files. So we need to wait a few minutes while it's registering. Uh, the configuration page tells us what's going on. Uh, it's registering and in a moment. This will update and tell us everything is okay. Great, so Drobo Access has now registered the name we chose and everything is okay. If we go back to the Drobo Access tab here, we'll see we've now got the public URL. This is our web address and if we click on that, that will take us to our Drobo. Let me type in, type in our username and password. So Drobo Access automatically uses the same usernames and passwords that you have already configured on your Drobo NAS product and provides access to the same shares that you would normally have access to. And here we are. Welcome to Drobo Access. Uh, Drobo Access, we have iOS and Android mobile apps so you can access your files from your phone or your tablet and these links to show you how to go and get those. And then we see we've actually got access to the shares we already had. So I already created a few shares and we can see the contents of them straight away. Right. Isn't he a lovely fella? As you're now attached to the public internet, please make sure you've chosen a strong password for all of your users. If you need to change the password, you can go to Shares, Share Settings, Users, and edit the password. Or if you'll need to change the admin password, you can go to Dover Settings, Admin, and change the password there. Thanks very much.